you guys so in this episode today's problem which is pretty much every day is some stupid problem going on in my life either way today's problem or yesterday's problem really or like last like two days but either way the house that i live in right now has some kind of i think it's a main sewer line that's clogged because i looked it up and did some research and i'm going to show you the area that I believe is the main sewer line and where the septic tank and stuff is and outside my house right now so let me pause the video and I'm gonna start looking around and showing you but um the issue that I was having is the toilet in my bathroom like it can't really flush if we're taking a shower and there's a lot of freaking humans inside of my house that take showers every day so because of that, it's supposedly we can only wait an hour before we can flush, use the bathroom to flush the toilet to say if we got to pee or poop or something. And then <clears throat> the washing machine for the water outlet when it's draining after you do the spin cycle would oh, like try to back back out and want to actually go all the way through. So I wasn't able to wash my clothes like two days ago. I had to go to the laundromat to dry my clothes I wasn't able to fully wash it the washing machine works like but my clothes were wet so I had to go to the laundry mat to dry them but um so I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna show you the areas really quick of where my problems are coming from and then uh, I believe I may be able to fix it myself like I usually do for pretty much everything in my own life anyway um, let me pause the video and I'll show you guys some areas here that I that I would have the issue at. Alright guys, so this is the toilet that we use that's pretty much a family bathroom for now because my sister's bathroom is screwed up and they're not fix that anytime soon. So like I don't think they're ever gonna fix it. This so I'll come to this bathroom. Either way, so this sink is fine and the the bathtub works fine. It's just if you take a bunch of showers you can't really flush without like overfilling the toilet like it like I think there's some kind of blockage they're connected somehow like I know they're only supposed to have one pipe coming from the bathtub to the main sewer line and the same thing with the toilet so I'm gonna show you let me pause the video one more time and I'll show you my washing machine area hold on all right guys so this is the washing machine that we use it's a good pretty good washing machine it's just that is the um, outlet for when it drains out the water and stuff right here and my son's mother was saying that I wasn't able to it's not able to drain though like over come back out like it won't actually go through like it's like clogged down there somewhere I guess but it's just because I believe this is all connected to that main sewer line so let me just show you. I believe I found the area that I can use to clean out. So let me just show you that in a second. All right, guys, outside of my house, right by my kitchen, there is this pipe right here. And I believe that's the main sewer line pipe. And it's connected to a longer pipe you can see right here. And there's a gap right there. And it actually seems like it has some liquid in it on the top, at the very top right there. So I believe that is the main sewer line because on the other side of this house, literally I will be on the left side right now if you're coming in through like my driveway. But um, on the right side, I'll pause me and I'll show you, is the septic tank area. Hold on. Okay guys, upon looking over here again, I, I didn't see this because it was covered up by all these plants, but um, that I believe may actually be the main pipeline the main sewer line so right here by my window of my room is right next to it we got the sewer septic sink is right over here and i'm not allowed to park my car over here like i used to or like where it was parked at like a year ago because right here it even says it no parking septic tank so if i parked over here my car would be sitting on top of the septic sink and probably stop it from being able to have any other sewage to go into it or break the septic tank and like have it leaking or something but now that i know for sure that this area over here 
next to my bedroom window, I guess. This should definitely be the main sewer line. So I'm going to be buying my stuff now for sure. Because I wasn't 100% sure about the other um, air pipe that I showed you a second ago. So now I know for sure this is it. Because I watched a video from a guy on YouTube showing how to fix this issue. So now I'm going to try to repair this for sure myself today. Anyway, um, this will have to be the end of part one, I guess. Because I need to still buy the stuff I need from like Lowe's, I believe. And then... I got I already got a long water hose. Uh it's I think it's called a um pipe um bleeder or something like that, I forget. But um either way I'm gonna go get to Lowe's and get the thing I need to stick the water hose and everything inside of this pipe right here. And it should go out towards this area of the septic tank, I believe. That should be the main sewer line. Either way, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.